You are hereby given permission to eat the cookie dough before it goes in the oven. This high protein cottage cheese cookie dough is made gluten-free with almond and oat flour and naturally sweetened with maple syrup. I'm showing you how to quickly and easily make the four most popular cookie dough flavors with or without protein powder. Eating this, you're gonna feel like a kid again and bring a smile to everyone's face with this nutrient dense snack disguised as a treat. Now you could use a food processor or an upright blender. I'm gonna use the chopper cup that comes with my immersion blender. We're gonna start with a classic chocolate chip cookie dough. And we're gonna start with one cup of cottage cheese and you can use large curd or small curd or low fat or full fat or whatever your preference. As our natural sweetener, we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. And you could also use honey. And for flavor, we'll add one teaspoon of vanilla and an optional fourth teaspoon of almond extract, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth cup of almond butter. Then we'll simply put on the lid and mix until it's well combined. Now it's just smooth and creamy and we've eliminated the texture of the cottage cheese. And then now we'll add our wet mixture into a medium sized mixing bowl. And now we can add our dry ingredients, which includes one cup of almond flour. And for additional flavor, I like to add a fourth a cup of oat flour. And you can just take regular oats or quick oats and blend them in your blender to create a really quick flour. Now to increase the protein in your cookie dough, you can add your favorite vanilla protein powder. These are three of my favorites because they don't have any artificial sweeteners such as aspartame or sucralose. One of them does have a little bit of stevia and then these other two just use natural cane sugar. I'll include links to all three of these in the video description below if you'd like to check them out. Adding protein powder is optional and if you prefer not to, then you can just replace the amount of protein powder in the recipe with additional either almond flour or the oat flour. I like to use two tablespoons of my favorite protein powder. And then we just take our spatula and we mix it all together. And the cottage cheese just gives it a really fluffy and soft texture. Mm, that smells so good. And now you can add a half a cup of your favorite chocolate chips. And there's so many great varieties that can accommodate any dietary restrictions. And then we'll go ahead and just mix this all together. And now you have a dead ringer for traditional cookie dough. Now for the best part, just grab a spoon and dig right in. Mmm, that is so good. <laughs> that has all the delicious flavor of a classic cookie dough. I love the texture that comes in from using that almond flour and the oat flour. It just has a really cool, nutty, kind of earthy flavor. And I get a little natural sweetness and flavor from the maple syrup and from the vanilla. And then I get the crunch that comes in from the chocolate chips. That is totally satisfying. And you don't have to feel guilty about getting into the cookie dough before it's baked. To make my peanut butter cottage cheese cookie dough, we're gonna start with one cup of cottage cheese, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, an optional fourth teaspoon of almond extract, a fourth a teaspoon salt, and a fourth of a cup of natural unsweetened peanut butter. But you can use any kind you like. And then I'll simply put on the lid and then mix on high until well blended. It comes out smooth and creamy and it blends down all of the curdled cottage cheese texture. And then we'll pour it into a medium sized mixing bowl. And for our dry ingredients, we're going to add one cup of almond flour and a fourth a cup of oat flour, two tablespoons of your favorite vanilla protein powder. And to enhance the peanut flavor and texture, I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of chopped peanuts. And then we just mix these together with our spatula. And then we're going to add a generous half cup of your favorite chocolate chips. And then to enhance the sweet and saltiness, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a pinch of some coarse sea salt. And then we'll just mix those together. Well, that looks and smells so good. And now for the best part. Mmm, that is so delicious. I love adding in the coarse sea salt because it adds just a really great contrast between the sweet and the salty. And the peanut butter just adds a really smooth flavor, but then you get the crunch from the chocolate chips. That is so good and would definitely satisfy a peanut butter chocolate craving. To make my double chocolate chip cottage cheese cookie dough, we're gonna start with one cup of cottage cheese, three tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a fourth a teaspoon of almond extract, a fourth a teaspoon salt, and a fourth a cup of almond butter, and three tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then we'll mix these together until well combined. And then we'll pour it into a medium-sized mixing bowl. Mmm, that already smells so good. 
Now we can add our dry ingredients, which includes one cup of almond flour, fourth a cup of oat flour, and two tablespoons of your favorite protein powder. And you can use chocolate or vanilla. Now, if you'd prefer not to use protein powder, you can go ahead and just add two more tablespoons of the almond flour or the oat flour. And then we'll just mix these together with our spatula. And now's a really good time to sample it to check for the sweetness level. I think that's just right, but you could add another tablespoon or two of maple syrup if you'd like to have it a little bit sweeter. And then we'll add a generous half cup of your favorite chocolate chips and we'll mix those together. Now it looks like double chocolate cookie dough. The next step is to grab a spoon and dig in. That is so yummy. That has so much rich chocolatey flavor. I get just the right amount of sweetness from the maple syrup, and then I get just really yummy flavor coming in from the apple cider vinegar as well as the vanilla, and then it has the perfect amount of salt, and then I get the crunch coming in from the chocolate chips. It almost tastes like a brownie batter, which is equally satisfying. And you don't have to feel guilty about going in for seconds. To make my Funfetti Sugar Cookie Cottage Cheese Cookie Dough, we're gonna start with one cup of cottage cheese. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a cup of cashew butter. And then we'll blend these on high until they're well combined. And then we'll add the wet mixture into a medium-sized mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add one cup of almond flour, a fourth a cup of oat flour, two tablespoons of our favorite vanilla protein powder, and then with the spatula, we'll just mix these together. Now when it comes to sprinkles, you can use your favorite. Mine are these natural rainbow sprinkles because they are gluten-free, but they're also free of any artificial ingredients or food coloring. So go ahead and add a fourth a cup of sprinkles because with sprinkles comes the sunshine. Everything's better with sprinkles. I have to say it's hard not feeling a little bit guilty just going in with a spoon. But with this, you can. <laughs> that is so yummy <laughs> and crunchy. Now this cookie dough tastes fantastic as is, but if you want to take it up a notch, you can add some white chocolate chips. Now, <laughs> a certain young member of my family is like moth to a flame when it comes to white chocolate chips. So I literally have to hide them <laughs> in inconspicuous containers. So I've used a box that I hardly ever get into. And then that's where I keep my bag and my white chocolate chips. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead, and I'll just kind of scoop out a generous handful, and we'll add a little more happiness to this cookie dough. Now granted, this is going to increase the sugar amount slightly, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Go ahead and mix those in, which of course calls for a new sample. Mmm, that's delicious. That tastes just like sugar cookie meets birthday cake. It has the perfect amount of sweetness, but also a really rich earthy flavor from the oat and the almond flowers. That is so good and super satisfying. Adding the white chocolate definitely takes that to a new level. And now to hide my chocolate chips. Seeing all these overflowing jars of cookie dough seriously makes me feel like a kid again. I feel like I need to go put my hair in pigtails and get out my roller skates. Having an overflowing jar of cookie dough is going to instantly light up anyone you hand this to. Now these are definitely emotionally satisfying because you're eating cookie dough, which is something that you might not have been allowed to in the past, but it's also physically satisfying because it's nutrient dense and made with wholesome, clean ingredients. Now this is a treat, so it does need to be eaten in moderation. You can store the cookie dough in an airtight container in your fridge for up to a week, but you can also freeze it to make it last longer. Now to freeze these, you can go ahead and just take a cookie scoop and then scoop out the dough as if you're gonna be making cookies and go ahead and just put them on a tray but you'll want to leave some distance in between them so they don't freeze together. And then once they're frozen solid, you can go ahead and put them all into an airtight container and store it in your freezer for several months. And you could even vacuum seal them for probably up to a year. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today to make these fun cookie doughs. And I've included links to the individual recipes in the video description below. And they're on my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know any cookie dough fanatics who you think would love to have a nutrient dense cookie dough that they don't have to feel guilty eating, then please share this video with them. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen next time.